Hi everybody, it is Wednesday and it's midweek and my name is Ty Joseph. I'm with ADO Handmade Soaps. Paul is on camera tonight. Yo. <laughs> He's here to help me with, um, read to me your questions and your comments as we go along. Tonight's setup is a little bit different. Um, I'm going to do a butter recipe and by butter it, it's different. So I'm using in my base, I'm using shea butter, kokum butter, mango butter and sal butter so this is not this is a luxury butter recipe it's also got olive oil in it and i'm using instead of coconut oil babassu oil so this is my higher end soap and i'm using it to try out a new fragrance that i got from brambleberry they have a new cocktail collection and so we're going to be using their kentucky bourbon fragrance in this particular soap and along with a little bit of bourbon Unfortunately, I did do a test batch um, to see if I could use the bourbon straight. It did not work so well. So it has to be on the rocks. It has to be on fire. So, <laughs> which I don't know if you follow me on Facebook, um, but I did post a video of me uh, flaming off the alcohol and the bourbon. And so that's what we're going to be using. Um, I have no way of testing the alcohol content in that, so there still may be some which means it's possible that the batch may move a little fast. So I'm gonna change up my order of operations a little bit. We're gonna save that until after we've already got our batter activated. And then I'm gonna add that in so that if I need to move fast, I'll be able to. And also because of that, we're gonna do a minimalist design. Nothing too fancy. Um, I'm gonna to stick to the color of the, I think it says that this color's to a light brown. Um, so I'm gonna stick to that and leave it as is. And then I'm thinking we're going to top with gold and possibly some frankincense. Because what I'm trying to do, what I'm hoping for is that once the heat gets to the frankincense resin, that I'll get that golden color on top. So we'll see how that goes. In addition, I'm going to add in some vanilla specks into the base just for a little bit of exfoliation and some interest. So with that, I'm going to get started. My gloves and my glasses. It's midweek. I'm tired this week though. I don't know why. Well, I didn't get much sleep over the last couple of days, but. There we go. And Debbie says she can smell it now. Hey, Debbie. Okay. All right. So we're going to start out with um, prepping my dry ingredients. I still have my soap amino acids, I still have the kale and clay, and the colloidal oatmeal. So we're going to prep those and get those ready to go into my oils. Here. Hope everybody's having a good week. Hope things are going smoothly. Now just for the record, this is a soap you're making, right? Yes, this is soap. Why? You kept saying it was a butter. Oh, well, by butter, it's a butter recipe. It's heavy on butters. It's about 40% uh, butter. Um, like I said, I'm using the mango butter, the um, kokum, shea, and sal butter. But not the flubber nutter butter. Not the flubber nutter, no, whatever that is, no. <laughs> you never had fluffer nutters when you were a kid? I don't even know what that is. Marshmallow fluff and peanut butter? Oh, no. The fluffer nutters? Mm-mm. <laughs> is that a Massachusetts thing? I hope not. Okay. Okay, so this is the kale and clay. And Wendy Ed says good evening. Hey Wendy, how are you doing tonight? And this is the colloidal. And I have a whole line of stuff I want to try. It has, there's also the, um, they have a scotch whiskey, a sparkling fig, I think, and eggnog. And so I can't wait to try that out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, glasses. Might as well put those on now, even though I'm not at the live stage. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in the uh, silk amino acids. Angela says we eat it in the South too. Oh, really? I, I've never heard of it, Angela. 
fluff and nutter sandwiches? Yeah, it's I, really disgusting. I guess, I don't know if that's... And uh, Sedona says you had me at bourbon. <laughs> uh, believe me, that as bourbon goes, this stuff isn't all that great, though. And we have our mascot here. Wait, how do you know? Are you a bourbon connoisseur? No, but this yeah. is the cheapest bourbon we could find. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to set up. Pam's heard of fluff or nutter, but never ate it. You've heard of that too, Pam? I guess I'm just out of the loop. I'm not, I've not heard of that. It's kind of it's, sticky. It's kind of like... Uh, is it the marshmallow fluff? Yeah. In the jar? Yeah, oh. it's, it's the stickiest stuff you've mm. ever seen. I do like peanut butter, though. This is for my fragrance oil. And Carol is watching, and hey, so Carol. is Angela. Hey, Angela. And Angela is remind remembering uh, bourbon and brown sugar shakes. That sounds good. Actually, yeah, I, I, could, I could picture that one. That sounds tasty. Apparently that was at Sonic. I'm going to mix this up real quick so it doesn't get loud. <laughs> this isn't my normal um, vegan recipe this would be vegan friendly like I said we're using four different types of butter some olive oil uh, some castor oil and babasu and Bran says hi hey Bran how you doing she says uh, her little ones won't allow her to watch just yet but she wants to say hi anyway well hello you can either join us later or you can catch us on a replay you can always ask me questions I'll get back to it these are the vanilla bean specks, so I'm going to add some in here, um, just to see if I can add some interest to it. Let's see what that looks like. Now, is that going to dissolve, or is it going to... No, I'll, it'll be specks, which is what I want. But not dust specks. No, not dust specks. So we're taking it on spec, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's enough. I just want to add a little bit of interest to it. I don't want it really overwhelming. Although now that I think about it, this would probably be a really good idea for the eggnog. Yeah. So we might see that one again. Is that enough? Hmm. Hmm. Let me waste a bit more. And uh, Rita says she loves your soaps. Hey, Rita. Thank you. And guys, remember, this, um, a bar of this will be up for grabs. I will hold a drawing. Every time I do a stream, somebody wins a bar of that day's soap. So this one will be the bourbon and butter soap up for grabs. So all you got to do is like it, like the stream. And of course, I always appreciate it and love it when you guys share and when you talk to me. Okay. All right. I think everything else has to do with the pour. Okay. So here we go. I'm activating the batter. Before I do that, let me just make sure I already turn that up. Okay. And in goes my lye. Consider that well mixed and traced. Now this is the part that I do not know what's going to happen. I know what happened when I used the straight bourbon. 
So now so, we're using a crooked bourbon. Yeah, we're gonna use a crooked bourbon. So my goal is to get that in there. Let me go ahead and see if I'm gonna my spoon out. So here we go. Like I said, this is the bourbon that I burned the alcohol off of, but I don't know. Do I'm gonna bet it's gonna work. You think so? There we go. And Amy's asked if she can love the stream. Yes, you can absolutely love the stream, Amy. And it worked, but it did thicken. The plot thickens. The plot thickens, as does the soap. Maybe we should rename that. The soap thickens. <laughs> From now on, that's what I'm going to say. This is going to be a tall bar. Actually, what I'm going to do, hold on. Oh, she's not going to make it any taller. She says no. that's as much as we're going to get. So she's making herself a little courtesy bar. Just one. And Gloria says, oh, real bourbon, cool. Yeah, it is. It burns with a bright blue flame. <laughs> and it burns very hot. She would be amazed. Let's see what that did. Okay, and here we go. Maybe. Let's... Okay, no, it's still... Okay, it's still a little bit soft. Which is okay. I really prefer that to what happened when I used the straight. <laughs> Anybody have any questions for me? And Amy gives three thumbs up for the bourbon. Yay! Thank you, Amy. Now, of course, all of the true connoisseurs would hate us for wasting such good liquor on soap. Let's see if I can get it now. Yep. And yeah, she's got it. That is her signature swirl. Let's see. This part I didn't really plan out so much. Because you didn't think you were going to get this far. No, yeah, that is right. So I'm going to do, I think, some gold here in the wells of the swirl. Possibly a little bit with here, let's see. And Carol's asking if you can hey, describe Carol. the smell. Carol, it honestly to me, it does smell like the bourbon. Um, not when you smell it directly from the bottle, but more like from the cork. Um, at least I think so. Um, Yeah, but maybe maybe a little sweeter. I mean, it does. You're not gonna smell like a, like a booze hound or anything. <laughs> um, but it, to me, it's reminiscent of bourbon. That would be maybe that's more fair. And Aurora has described a, a vanilla bourbon that she did a while back, and she said she had the same kind of problem with it accelerating. Did oh Aurora, did you use the like the straight, or did you also cook it off? And Vivian is uh, calling from Santi, uh, Santa Domingo. Hey, Vivian. I have not forgotten the avocado soap. And she's waiting for Hurricane Maria. Another one? That's going to hit you guys, too? I heard something to that oh. effect. They actually got to the ends this season. Well, so. please be careful. And this is just the frankincense resin that I'm putting on. If you're just joining us, we did a... Um, it's called butter. I, I'm calling it bourbon and butter because it's a four butter handmade soap and we actually used some real bourbon in there. And we topped it with some gold mica. And uh, Coral asked if this is from the uh, cocktail collection and yes it is. Yes. And uh, that's resin you're putting in now? Yeah, this is a frankincense resin. I'm doing it because I'm hoping to give the, I'm, I'm looking for that amber color. And so when I heat up the frankincense with the gel process, then it should 
That should give me about what I was looking for. And Aurora says she used it straight, but will definitely cook the alcohol off next time she tries. And uh, basically, you actually set it on fire, Aurora. You actually touch a match to it. Just make sure it's in an open area, and uh, it will burn with a with a very invisible flame. So. It gets very hot very quickly, so be sure that you're burning it in something that isn't going to shatter or something like that. In fact, you might even want to do it outside, to be honest with you. I'm just pushing those in some. Since this. And even then, like I said, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly um, how much gets cooked off. Because this still accelerated, as you saw. I was just ready for it. So I didn't do any swirls or anything with this one. Um, and I don't know why I'm just going through randomly poking little spots with resin. And Amanda said it looks amazing. She has Hi, a Amanda. bottle of wine that was aged in bourbon barrels. Ooh. For some kind of a soapy project. And that we, sounds we good. And we our great mascot back there with his bow tie. Okay, so I think I think that's what I'm going to leave it as. Well, actually, yep. I, I think that works for me. And uh, I would say that this is a, a successful project. Went relatively smoothly. Actually, I, do you guys want to see what happened to my the first version of this? How many people say yes? If you say yes, I'll grab it and I'll show it to you. Well, I say yes, so you grab say, it. All right, hold on. Okay, so while she's doing that, you can see the uh, nice fine grain in there. And uh, that's frankincense resin, Amy. Okay, so this is, this is what happened when I did the, the first try. So we have this, and then we have that. <laughs> I think that looks better. Personally, I like this a lot better. Um, this accelerated. It's not that it's not usable, um, but as you see, I had a hard time incorporating the color. Um, I kind of played around with a copper trying to get that gold color that's in the bottle. I didn't like the color, um, and it got thick really fast, so I couldn't really get a good swirl going on. But still, this is, this is Paul's soap now. Okay, yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'm kind of like the soap disposal. It ends up in the shower. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's it. Again, if you guys would go to the Easiest Pie Shop, um, the, type, the link is in the title of the stream. And there you can see my entire collection so far, what we've done. This will be listed pretty soon. Um, if you would like it, then you're into, automatically into a drawing to win a free bar. And I really appreciate you guys, as always, hanging out with me, making soap. And we will see you guys Boy! on... Saturday. Or later tonight for the reveal. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, it'll set up pretty fast, so we probably should get the reveal in. Okay, guys, that's it. I appreciate you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.